in one of my previous videos uh, in the video is time travel possible i said this traveling to the past is faster than like travel which is not allowed so by which i meant that if we travel faster than light we could go back into the past but this is false so i want to correct it we cannot travel to the past if even if we travel faster than light so first we need to understand how time dilation works for that imagine if we are moving in a spaceship relative to earth we have a special kind of clock here to tell time so this is the diagram of the clock it works with light so uh, at the bottom there is a light source which emits of a photon this photon goes up and reflects back okay this goes top and comes back so this is one unit of time okay this is our setup of clock with which we tell time but with respect to an observer on earth the light will not go straight upwards and downwards but will go in a path like this in a sideways so this is this arrow represents the velocity of the light which we know is same to all observers all observers in inertial frames observe the same velocity for light so this will be an invariant it will not change it is a constant you can note that uh, this velocity can do have an x component and a y component the x component of the velocity is the velocity with which uh, we travel in the spaceship so the faster we travel in the spaceship the slower the light goes upwards because uh, this sum is the velocity of light which is a constant so uh, if we go faster then the light photon will go slower making the clock tick slower so you might say the only the light clock tick slower all other clocks are moving normally but if this was true we could tell from the time difference of the clocks that we were moving but this is not possible according to galilean theory of relativity peak uh, velo uh, velocity is relative there is no absolute frame of motion so we can we all we can only tell if an object is moving or not uh, by referencing it to an another object but in this case uh, if the clock if the different clocks uh, tell different times from that we can infer that uh, we were moving but this is not possible so we can infer that the light clock will be the same time of that of any other clock so that every other clock in the in our spaceship will go slower with respect to an observer in earth so uh, all clocks will be slower our biological clocks will be slower we will age slower with respect to an observer in earth this is called time dilation so what happens if we travel at the velocity of light okay uh, even if it is if, uh, whether it is not practically possible or not uh, let us imagine that we travel at the speed of light so this s, s component is the velocity of light then the y common will be zero that is the light will not travel upward which means with respect to an observer in the earth the time of us will freeze we will freeze in time okay this is what happens uh, when we travel at the velocity of light so what happens if we travel greater than the velocity of light uh, the, uh, so uh, this is not possible uh, i i first uh, i should first say that this is not possible uh, we cannot travel faster than light but even if we travel faster than light and the velocity of light be, uh, is constant for us then the the, uh, the photon will have a negative velocity downwards okay
still the time will not go backwards okay time will freeze uh, even if we travel faster than light there will be no reverse in the direction of time so time travel is not possible even even if we travel faster than light so there are other methods uh, that are said to be uh, said to achieve us time travel like the waveform method but uh, there are uh, like this video there are other low force in that so uh, we, we cannot uh, travel to the past uh, by no methods by this uh, uh, faster than light method or the waveform method whichever method it is we cannot travel faster than light 